hope i think uh, everyone able to uh, visible to my screen i think uh, if he's in between you have any uh, any problem or uh, if any voice is clear yeah please uh, you can unmute yourself and you can uh, chat on the chat box uh, like i'm uh, i'm going to start the session uh yeah once again uh, like uh, welcome to everyone good morning all of you uh, today i'm talking about the smart grid simulation uh, in matlab and simlink uh, so myself ravinder reddy i am working with the application engineer in design tech systems private limited uh, uh, this is my contact details uh, email and contact number Uh, I am going to uh, discuss today agenda. Uh, uh, this is agenda today. I am going to cover uh, today. Uh, we will see how uh, working with the MATLAB user interfaces and uh, what is the smart gate and uh, what are the uh, how it will work the smart gate application uh, using the MATLAB and Simlink software. So I will show you uh, how to help out with the MATLAB uh, products to uh, build the smart gate application. Uh, maybe that is a power generation or transmission or distribution level. Uh, and second one is a smart gate simulation uh, model how you develop in the uh, using the matlab and simlink so yesterday i showed in that uh, matlab software as well as the simlink uh, what are the yeah uh, shiva uh, raised the hand yeah tell me sir any any issue uh, Sir, uh, just put in a uh, uh, chat box, sir, uh, if you have any issue in that. Hello, sir, Shiva, sir, uh, please, you can unmute and you can talk, sir. So please first. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, uh, like we'll see like a whole smart grid uh, simulation uh, we'll develop with the, using the MATLAB and Simlink software. And uh, I will show you touch up with the Simscape electrical components uh, that what are the models or components is available uh, in terms of the smart grid system uh, to develop and uh, how to do the modeling and simulation of the smart grid system. And uh, the smart grid simulation, how it will work in the MATLAB and Simlink software. So this is the agenda. I took uh, one or two case studies uh, in that examples. So I will talk about uh, uh, this is the smart grid technologies today. Yeah, again, is uh, yesterday I showed in the why should you I learn the MATLAB? Then uh, do you think is an electrical engineer? Then uh, I should learn MATLAB. So this is the best reason I can give it is that I can uh, get a job in that even without knowing that uh, nothing about that uh, electrical engineer. I cannot say like it's a minimum basis. If you know, then you are able, simply you can able to design. Uh, this is such kind of the products. Why it is that like you have the Redmond models which is available uh, in that MATLAB software. Quickly you can uh, you can access those uh, toolbox and you can able to design. So, and one more thing, then I'm talking about the application, not only I'm uh, talking about that, like only electrical engineering, uh, this is a few of the applications it is there, uh, where we, you can use that uh, MATLAB. So, one first one is a software deployment tool. So, where you have to do the debugging and testing, uh, or getting the large kind of the projects, uh, maybe source control, or maybe integration toolbox packages uh, that you can do in the software deployment tool. And there are the external language interfaces also it is available. Uh, this you can do in the basic MATLAB itself. So you can call to the external language and uh, the library interfaces, including Python, uh, Java, and C, C++, uh, .NET, and web uh, services that uh, can possible to take into the MATLAB and you can uh, interface with the MATLAB. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, third one is like involvement uh, and settings. So you can uh, perform the settings and maybe platform uh, difference with the cloud computing, maybe hiding the hardware uh, interfaces or maybe some other optional features also can be done uh, using the MATLAB software. 
So we have the wide range of the support of the microcontrollers so that is a, like maybe ARM processor microcontroller uh, like uh, such kind of the hardware, uh, zinc and xilinx boards that hardware also we are supported. And we have the like uh, machine learning that making the software to learn uh, themselves. And we have to uh, faster tools that is uh, maybe we can use the like uh, other parallel computing uh, matlab distribution. And we have the do uh, data analysis in the matlab itself. And we have the uh, calculation differential equations also we can do in the matlab and adding the arrays together to need only command uh, instead of that uh, while loop condition so we can do the map this is a, a basic uh, a few of the application i mentioned here uh, like not only from the, we can use the like signal processing side who are working the radar side who are working the machine learning deep learning so such kind of applications is available in the map and then uh, like okay matlab it is okay then why uh what is the symbol the symbol is basically the simulation uh, uh model based designing so here you have to design and you can able to uh, do the simulation uh your system uh, system of the symbol uh, before you're moving to hardware or uh, maybe real time so you have to implement the design uh that you maybe otherwise uh, you consider like maybe how right in the c uh, c c class code and maybe hl code so uh, like are you able to see uh this kind of the blocks it is available uh same blocks uh, once you uh, design maybe you're happy with uh, the simulation uh, after running that uh, see the result uh, then same uh, similar code you did not write any code uh, within a single click you're able to generate that uh, c code out of this uh, simulating model and maybe it's still code that code you are directly you can connect with your hardware and you can interface uh, deploying to the hardware uh, and other tools so that i will show you uh, what are the hardware are supported and then how to generate the code also so uh, we have uh, if, if people are interested then i can have one more session about the code generation products but this is a flexibility is available uh, in that uh, sim link also so this is a sim link so we have the like a concept to code how to uh, uh, do, do the like model based designing from the concept uh, to code first you have to model to the simulate your system that may be explored of the wide design uh, space of modeling system under maybe test you have to design model and you have to simulate maybe you're happy with this result uh, then all parts are maybe it is okay the parameters and everything then next level you are going to do the uh, test, uh, testing for uh, testing for uh, uh, whether you uh, what are the code you developed that way maybe uh, whether it is correct or not uh, maybe basically we can do the testing side so once you you have done testing also then uh next level you are going to real time application to deploy into the hardware for that we have the automatically code generation so it is there that is the code product as i said in previous slide so we are directly uh within uh same single uh, same platform you can able to generate that uh, uh code that is a c and hl code and we have that is the same way uh, you can uh, connect with your hardware and deploy into that uh, uh microcontroller unit or maybe dsp processor or, or fpga processor so that is in doing the single platform uh, that's you that uh this way you can able to generate the code and connect with the hardware so this is the like a few of the like uh, various application uh, in that sim link. Uh, so we can use the wireless communication, motor power controller, a uh, control system, uh, signal processing, uh, robotics, or uh, advanced of the driven systems, in a processing application, internet of the things. So these are the few applications uh, uh, where we can use uh, sim link that area also. So uh, this is a uh, like mattress product family. Uh, like uh, before, I'm jumping to that uh, Sponky technology. I, I want to show you this is a product family. Uh, this is like a uh, MATLAB as well as in the sending product family. Is it under the MATLAB? We have such a uh, such a category. This is a math and statistics and optimization. Who want to develop with this uh, math and statistics application and do the some optimization kind of the things they can use and access these such kind of the uh, like uh, libraries and they can able to design. Uh, here is a matter you have to write that m script function uh, then you can design once you are ha uh, happy with the designing uh, written the code then uh, there is application deployment uh, option also is available once it is done then you can able to access the database and you can generate the report uh, this is here is there uh, similarly we have the parallel computing and code generation uh, what are the codes you have to return you can speed up with your simulation as well as you can generate the code out of your matlab uh, that you can be generate c or c c plane uh, or HTML code and uh, once you have 
happy, then you can able to deploy that this is the application tool as I said my previous slide. So maybe if you are working in the control systems, uh, people are working in the signal processing and communication, or uh, people are working in email processing and computer vision, and who are working the test and measurements and computation finance and computation, uh, computation of the uh, biology. So this is a few of the applications. Similarly, we have the Simlink also, which is there. Uh, we have the simulation and model based designing, it is available here. So who are working the real time uh, simulation testing? And the verification validation test also is there. So once you're happy with this, you can able to generate that uh, validation and uh, the simulation graphics reporting also it is there. Uh, you can do the uh, like graphical pre animation and you can able to generate that report out of your simulation model. So this is uh, like even there's modeling is there physical modeling uh, physical modeling also it will available here. So today we are talking about even how how we are uh, doing the modeling and using the physical modeling and even this modeling what are the tools is uh, supported for the map processing. So this is the application so as I mentioned. So this is the application in terms of the smart grid as a uh, as a topic. Uh, so they have the draw up the uh, reference of the uh, transmission lines. So this is a smart grid. In the smart grid, maybe uh, our transmission system, uh, maybe who people are working the industrial plant or maybe solar plant or wind power plant or maybe. A, so basically, this is a like power generation uh, where we can take the wind, wind power plant, maybe solar or industrial plant, and maybe thermal power plant or nuclear power plant. And this is a like a distribution uh, from like once you once we we'll get the power, then we count to distribute to the electrical vehicles, maybe uh, smart houses, or maybe the consumer or cities or maybe hospitals. Uh, this is a like once we'll get the power, uh, we, we can control the smart grid and we can deliver the uh, power as per the requirement of. Uh, consumers so this uh, this is a maybe diagram here easily you can able to understand where we'll get the power and how to control the smart grid uh, and how to deliver so why because uh, as you observe like wind power plant will get that uh, variable ac so that variable ac directly we cannot send to like maybe uh, like a smart homes or maybe electrical vehicles or maybe hospitals why because this is a not constant power this is a depends on the wind uh, like maybe it is uh, going to up and down so uh, as well as the same is a not as a pure ac this is a like a variable ac so that uh, the fluctuation AC directly we cannot uh, directly use to power plant to directly uh, like maybe consumers hospitals or maybe homes or offices and it as electrical uh, vehicles. So this this power we cannot directly use. So first we'll do what wherever the power is generated first we can send to the smart grid and we can convert to and we can maintain the power quality and we can uh, we can control the power and after that we can send to that. Uh, as per the requirement same similarly we have the solar power is there but solar power also is, it is not constant depends on the maybe heat energy or maybe the particular power uh, plant of that uh, capacity and it will generate so again that wherever the generated the power the power also it is not constant dc also it is not constant why because sometimes uh, heavy uh, like maybe up and down it is there that is a uh, maybe the variable dc fluctuation dc is there the fluctuation dc directly we cannot use in the batteries so why because this is a uh, always is not constant so that DC also a variable DC to constant DC we have to send to uh, we can set up in the smart grid and after that we can uh, distribute it to consumer. Then like a similarly industrial plant and summer plant and nuclear plant also. So that is a way uh, we have to maintain the grid and after the grid we can uh, we we can distribute as per the uh, industrial application home power applications uh, or maybe uh, interface or three phase we have to convert and we have to uh, uh, we have to define that where it is required and how it is there. that that maybe we can have the fax flexible ac transmission system and a flexible uh, dc transmission system that's a way we can use the smart grid uh, then so see how uh, how how we have to build the smart grid so quickly uh like this has a few of the applications i mentioned here and next one what uh this is a smart kit. So a smart kit is a maybe efficient of the transmission distribution level as I said in electrical power. So maybe we'll get that. Uh, this is a smart kit just as showing that uh, right side of the figure. So again, uh, like wherever the, we are getting the power, AC, RPC, what are the things we have to uh, control in that uh, when we find we have to. So here we have to distribute to uh, wherever it is required that uh, consumer. So here is a quickly restore of the electrical power uh, after the uh, power failures may be due to faults or maybe power losses. And low cost for operation is to maintain some management and electricity for both the utilities of consumers. And low electrical power uh, traffic uh, rates are due to the uh, radius of the peak demand and provide the better option to integration with the renewable energy for the self power generation system and improve the security and the protection so here if you are observed clearly wind energy always we cannot generate the power 
So wherever is the uh, like maybe wind is available, we can generate. But we cannot depend on the 24 hours to on the wind uh, wind power plant, right? Because wherever it is available at the time only power is generated. Similarly, we have the solar energy also. This is also it is not concerned whenever the sunlight is available at the time only we are able to generate. So similarly, so wherever it is not available, we can depend on the nuclear point and maybe the summer plant. So that's a uh, reason we have to depend on renewable energy and as well as the like uh, non-renewable energy. So like uh, just coming up the Simscape theoretical in terms of the uh, smart grid uh, technology overview, uh, it's like how we can use the Simscape theoretical library in the smart grid technologies. Uh, we have the such libraries have the Simscape. Uh, here is the Simscape theoretical, Simscape driveline, and Simscape multibody, and Simscape player is there. So previously we have the tool is the Sim power systems. Uh, now it is uh, basically the, uh, we can call it the Simscape, and under the Simscape we have the Simscape theoretical library is there. So in that uh, you showed in that IWP European uh, low voltage uh, test feeder is a nine not boxes uh, they are developing uh, previously. This is a good reference of uh, uh, this is a bus system. So this is electrical power system. Uh, it is a uh, the library it is showing. I will uh, later I'll show you. And with the Simscape theoretical, you can able to unlock the circuits architecture. Uh, like this is a uh, way you can able to design. And you have to uh, develop the mechatronic system with electrical drives. And wherever it is required, analyzing the power generation, maybe conversion or transmission. For example, I have the DC power. That is a variable DC. If I want to variable DC to convert to constant DC, uh, then it's a variable to DC. Like chopper circuit, we have to design. So maybe using MOSFET, thyristor, IGBT, wherever it is there. Maybe it depends on your application, depends on your parameters. Uh, you can able to design uh, to maybe power generation plant. I want to design something wind power plant, maybe a solar power plant. Uh, like uh, after that, I want to conversion variable DC to constant DC, variable DC to constant DC. So DC, uh, like this is a conversion also, it, it, we can do the conversion option. After the transmission, uh, so like maybe transmission, I, I have to send it to the certain uh, kilometers, maybe 200, some power generation plan to uh, maybe consumer or grid level. So the transmission lines also we can uh, develop using the math and simming software. And conception of the electrical power, uh, the grid level, the complete circuit, uh, we are able to uh, you design in that uh, simscape that we're using the simscape library and for example if i want to create my own uh, custom components uh, that is also can be done uh, to you can create your own uh, uh, custom models like uh, maybe you can return the equation using the matlab and uh, you can able to you can able to design that simlink uh, blank black also that is also can be done uh, in the same way I hope up to here, I think uh, everybody is clear. If you have any doubts, uh, please you can unmute. Otherwise, you can put on the uh, your questions in the chat box. Yeah, uh, okay. So before like I'm going to uh, next slide. Uh, just I, uh, I will open the math of software quickly. Uh, I will show you uh, what are the uh, things is available. But here is a, uh, a slide where you are able to see that what kind of the switching is available and how to the signal amplification, how to set the para uh, uh, parameterization of the data sheet, and how to uh, simple uh, and uh, detail the variant of the parameters. Uh, this is a few. Uh, examples are available also uh, like a thermal effect and how to affect and how to behavior and how to transfer to enrollment uh, that is uh, some formulas is available here how to measure losses power losses subsequent uh, losses so quickly i'm going to the uh, matlab window i think i hope everybody able to see my uh, matlab window so here, uh, uh, started, as I said, here, uh, there is a like a home and plots and after is there. This is in MATLAB. Uh, like uh, quickly, I can open the Simlink uh, library uh, browser. So here I'm launching the uh, simulation library browser. So in last year's summer, so they are coming with the Simlink a startup page. Uh, so here it is there. I said I showed in that Simlink as well as a, a division wise. If you people are working in the aerospace block set, maybe who are working in the audio system or maybe DO uh, qualification kit or HL coder. So similarly, we have uh, like the Simscape, it is there under the Simscape. Uh, we have the electrical, it is there. So if you want to open the directly this template, directly you can come to here. Uh, just as of now, I show the library. I'm selecting the uh, blank model. 
are here also for example if you want to design any blank model uh, that you can be to and if you want to like maybe uh, you want to generate the code you can select this uh, particular template if you want to build any project you can select this kind of the template if you want to the library uh, then you can able to see so maybe i want to show open the library and i want to show you what are the features are available in the uh, simscape electrical and how to uh, where we can uh, choose those kind of the large libraries to design the smart key technology So uh, this is a, like uh, a template of that uh, project or like uh, here is a library browser is there. That is the one thing you can launch library browser here. Otherwise you can come back and you can type the in your command window. As I said yesterday, uh, you can type the Excel library browser and use the tab. Once you click on the tab and you can come down here, Excel library browser is the same link library browser. Here also you can able to launch here. So this is a sim link library browser. And if you want to design any kind of uh, project, so basically uh, basic uh, components are available in the sim link. So here is a common, uh, commonly used of the blocks. Maybe you can use the bus creator or bus selector, uh, maybe conversion. If you want to any kind of, any kind of the data type conversion, if you want to be uh, kind of the, if you want to apply any kind of the delay or demux, uh, gain or ground. So this is uh, like where you can use uh, build your project wherever it is required. Uh, you can select those kind of the blocks here. Uh, before that, I want to show you uh, just I took that one of the IEEE uh, uh, paper. Uh, just is uh, for only your references. So here is a there is a like IEEE transition paper is a 2011. It is a, so here is a. Uh, they are using the grid the connection of the renewable energy uh, sources with the distribution uh, level with the power quality. So, like here, uh, you are able to see uh, this is the like a black diagram of a particular uh, project, and they given the black diagram. So, this is a grid. Uh, this is a renewable energy. This is a maybe interfaces converter. This is a maybe DSP processor, and this is a transmission level. This is a external. Uh, Sir, as a board, and this is a three phase or maybe single phases. So, this is a uh, maybe every uh, whenever you're talking about the uh, grid, this is a maybe black dam. Everybody mind it will come. So, for example, this is a black dam. If I have, then how do I use that? Uh, my uh, how do I build up my project? So here, uh, for example, first component is the first is the renewable energy uh, sources, or uh, maybe renewable energy or non-renewable energy. First, where we can take the renewable energy, non-renewable energy. For that, I need maybe solar, uh, maybe solar, uh, or maybe wind. So quickly, I can take this reference. Just I'll show you uh, where it is. The, this kind of the components is available. Uh, is it is okay? Fine, sir. Bushal, uh, sir. Bonnie, sir, uh, is it is okay? Fine. Uh, shall I take this reference? Ravinder, yes, sir, you mentioned in the chat window that it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm uh, sorry, I'm not able to uh, see the chat window. Yeah. Uh, like sir, uh, here is a like this is a references a diagram. It is there. Uh, so maybe uh, whenever you have to design like maybe single phase or three phases of uh, like a grid 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 in the construction of renewable energy. Uh, maybe you can think uh, like I'm I'm not talking about only renewable energy. It's uh, maybe non renewable energy also. Same. Only the maybe uh, the power generation plant is a different. But again, the rest of the rest of the modules and everything that uh, connection it is the same. 
so this is a way if i want to using the matlab and symlink so for that i require like maybe renewable energy sources so first i want to find out where is the renewable energy source so quickly i can go to the library i can come to here uh, under the simscape uh, then we have the uh, dedicated libraries electrical it's the simscape electrical so here i can get it that uh, maybe sources so maybe the solar or maybe wind so i can get it uh, from here so similarly you can uh, one thing is you can able to drag and drop that is one thing otherwise you can type to here if i want to something wind power plant directly type on the wind uh, then wind turbine it will it will come up so maybe if i want to something uh, solar solar cell this for uh, your better understanding that i want to show you like the library and very where such kind of the blocks are available in the symlink and how to make it uh, the project uh, reference of the maybe black diagram uh, maybe that is itp paper is you can take any paper but this kind of the black uh, black diagram they are available and they can able to see here sorry or it will take some time yeah this is a cv uh, cell otherwise you can type the pv uh, pvra also it is there solar cell or this is a, like yeah this kind of the maybe this is a one kind of the cell this is a, like a pv array instead of the solar cell it is available so this is a maybe is a power generation plant uh, uh, renewable energy and non non energy you can use this is a uh, like sources and after that maybe if you want to next level if you want to the uh, four leg of interfacing converter the leg is nothing but uh, two uh, switches across combination is nothing but one leg converter the here is a uh, three phases one is a uh, like a uh, neutral way total they take the four leg interfaces and this is interfaces maybe they can use the switches and if you clearly uh, description then about they use the maybe MOSFET or IGBT uh, this is a switches is available so uh, yeah according to that if you want to design like uh, just to type the MOSFET so here it is the mass fit ideal switching is there n channel b channel that is occurred as per your application you can able to take it the mass fit or <coughs> gbt sorry gbt with the diode maybe ideal switches you can use so as per the diagram you are you are able to connect and you can design so that is uh, you can use this is a references of uh, like once the power is generated uh, maybe excess power we can uh, store on the maybe battery and uh, uh, that may be variable AC or maybe variable DC to constant. We can uh, use the uh, conversion of that uh, four leg inverter. Once it is conversion, it is done. Uh, maybe the conversion we can take the feedback uh, from the uh, switches. So here they are using the hardware uh, DSP processor. So here we can use the uh, PWM tech process with the modulation technique. Uh, maybe they are using the hardware interfaces. So here. So that maybe uh, again I come back to here. Uh, maybe we have the certain. Uh, Pulse rate modulation technique, PDPM technique is available, or if you are using the PI, uh, PI PID control, it is available. Uh, so this is the like a switching control technique is available here. So after that, they're using some kind of the filters also. That is a maybe inductance filter or resistance filter. They remove the unwanted harmonics, they can use the filters. So that is the filters also it is available uh, in, in, in that uh, uh, library. So you can use something, uh, sorry, yeah inductor uh, so directly inductor is available and it's a combination of rlc it is also available once you click on uh, sorry uh, forgot to say like uh, wherever it is uh, like black is there you can uh, you can double click on the particular uh, block and uh, if you want to change the uh, maybe values you can able to change as per your convenience uh, this is the operate, operating limits is there this is the fault condition may be variable so this is as per your requirement not only for inductance if you want to open the switches also so you can uh, you can apply that is a fit resistance or maybe internal diode inductance or maybe internal diode resistance uh, resistance and snubber capacitance and snubber uh, resistance that is up to uh, like as per your maybe uh, any references uh, paper or maybe according to your application you can able to uh, calculate those kind of the parameters and you can apply anytime and once it is done then we can go we can use that this is a transmission lines uh, the transmission lines maybe uh, here you can assume some 100 kilometers or maybe 10 kilometers that is a transmission lines also uh, setups also is available oh sorry i'm just uh, wait, I have the uh, already predefined one model is there, just I want to open.
So this is the lines, and uh, after that they're using the, some kind of the transforms. Then after that they're sent to the uh, in the grid level. So after the grid, after the grid they can use the, like uh, maybe uh, maybe single phase or maybe three phases. Uh, they can conversion. They can send to the consumer. So this is a like overview of this uh, particular diagram. So similarly, I can uh, able to see uh, this is a diagram in the MATLAB simply. Uh, so see, had as per that uh, diagram, I was designing the renewable energy source RES. So maybe here uh, you can able to see that as of I'm using only PV portable cells. If you want to design like any kind of the uh, wind also, that is also can be done. Yeah, here uh, they're using the portable cells and uh, they're using the MPPT algorithm maximum power point tracking and uh, uh, they can generate the power here. After that, they have the grid interface, interface of the inverter. So inverter, they're using the leg converting. So similarly, they're using that this kind of leg converting. The SSC is there. Uh, and after that, they want to uh, apply the like, pulses uh, from here, these uh, switches. So in downside itself, it is there. Uh, this is all maybe wherever I'm using the AI switches or the AI pulses it is there. This pulses is connected to directly here. Uh, this is a controller it is there. And the controller I can control that uh, into for uh, in the form of voltage in the form of current. I can use a PI uh, control technique here. And uh, this is a, like a part where it is a, like measurement scissor. I want to find out uh, where is the voltage, maybe grid level voltage, and maybe a uh, load side, or uh, maybe before grid, after grid, uh, before transmission, after transmission. Then I can use uh, such kind of the measurements here. So after that, I can send to directly to some kind of the filters, RMC circuits. So here I can use uh, maybe inductance if you want to resistance, or if you want to like a capacitor, or maybe if you want to open circuit, they can uh, select here the parameter here. And after that, they are they're using some uh, kind of the circuit breakers here. Uh, so after that, they're using the transmission lines. Uh, this is the lines uh, you can use, like maybe a uh, transform in between, in between uh, certain uh, limitation of these lines. So here, so this is uh, like a voltage measurement it is there. Uh, so this is uh, just I want to get it from grid set. That's why I'm using the way grid. If you want to load set, then we load. We can use same thing like voltage and current. We can find out some grid level here. And uh, this is a uh, maybe rotor set before a transform, maybe after transform. And uh, I can use that uh, at the end of the some some kind of the loads it is available. So here I'm using that R R L uh, that's the load butler load. So if you want to three phase or maybe single phase, uh, that I'm using the universal pitch. This all are the blocks are available uh, in the simulation library itself. So simply you, you come to here, uh, like maybe if you want to use the current control as a DC battery, a current control, or DC voltage, TV array, uh, like all, all, all sources available. You can use this uh, blocks and you can able to design uh, as per uh, your diagram. So today uh, we are talking about the smart grid, then smart grid uh, related. We have that uh, uh, some of the power grid elements it is available. So wherever it is required to decoupling breakers or decoupling lines, uh, that as I said, the some lines with the transmission lines also is there. So it is a right distribution parameters is there. If you want to like uh, take it this diagram and if you want to make, mention the particular uh, maybe number of bases or maybe uh, how many kilometers, maybe I can say as a like a reference is 100 kilometers. Maybe in your case, if you want to increase and decreasing that, you can able to uh, change it here. Like if you want to uh, set up this like certain kind of the frequency, the specification, you are able to uh, change that uh, thing. So resistance of the per unit length, uh, that is, uh, the, as per the calculation, you can able to uh, change the resistance, inductance, and capacitance. And uh, here, if you want to find out the measurements, then that is also can be done here. And one more doubt, if you have, like, where is the, uh, maybe this uh, particular block, a complete description, if you want, uh, click on the particular block and go to the help. So it will show the where is the library uh, path location and uh, what library it will, uh, how, how it is work here description it will also be written and they have uh, they have to take the reference of the diagram and with the equations so they are mentioned clear we have the map that good documentation is available so in the time you did not connect internet also it is everything is on the offline once you install the map lab, then everything it will show here. Uh, not only this particular block, all boxes is available. Uh, see here, uh, under the Sinscape electrical, there is a specialized power system. Under that, there are the electrical sources of elements. It is there. 
So we have the library and description parameters, uh, limitations, examples, uh, references, and everything is, is available. So and one more thing I missed in that, uh, like if you want, what are the blocks available? So one thing you can come to here or uh, type the DOC documentation and open the documentation here so once you come to the documentation page so what are the products you are installing in your pc it will show in my case i have the all toolboxes that's the reason it's showing all the toolboxes for in your case maybe uh, i have the limited license then you can go for is a particular uh, tools only and it will show uh, so after that you can come to here the simscape simscape particular toolbox software clean there Yeah, uh, it is a Simscape electrical. So once you open the Simscape electrical, electrical uh, then you are able to see here, uh, there is a like a few examples it is available. So how it will start and what are the applications it is available and how to do the modeling and simulation basic things is available. And uh, what are the electrical blacks and libraries it is available and uh, how it is compatible uh, to the uh, electronics and mechatronics and electrical power system blocks. And uh, some kind of the controller systems also using the mathematical transformation and maybe pulse width foundation PWM techniques. Uh, what are the control techniques available in here? And uh, some of the simulation analysis uh, that is a performance of implement analysis tools techniques also is available here. And the real time simulation also it is available. And here is a specialized power system. So in specialized power system, when we can talking about that own uh, smart grid, then maybe it will come up with the renewable energy and uh, power plants pack, the transfer system, some of the drives and control signal generation also it will uh, come up. So here it is uh, like a software division, it is available uh, for conversion. After generating the power, we need some conversion uh, variable to constant function to maybe AC to DC, DC to AC. That is the transmission lines, branch, breakers, it is, everything is available. So similarly, you can come up to here, uh, what are the functions are available in the particular block, it will show. So this is the, like uh, some of the uh, specialized power system functions, it is available here. Uh, there is a electrical sources elements if you want to design any kind of electrical sources of elements if you want to design any kind of the motor generators or maybe sensor measurements or maybe if you want to do any kind of the simulation analysis so these are the functions is available uh, similarly we have the blocks that's also is available here is the, uh, when you click on the blocks so this is the blocks is available so like uh, one thing uh, to one way to you come to is a simulation library you can check here otherwise you can come to here and click on the blocks and you can able to see here the blocks what are the blocks is available maybe if you want to design any kind of the transmission lines uh, then you can come to the lines and uh, you you can able to select uh, uh, for example if i want to pi session like implement at the line width uh, so this is a clear description and with a good example and uh, the documentation also is available here So similarly, that all the blocks, uh, maybe if you want to switches or maybe conversion, uh, maybe you're able to see full pitch converter, full pitch MMS, half, half pitch rectified, half pitch MMS, uh, three pieces. These are the conversions, is the measurement side. If people are working in the analysis side, so these are the blocks are available in the uh, Simscape theoretical library. And uh, if you want to some case studies, uh, like uh, quickly I can open one of our case study, uh, this is smart grid application. Some that example I can run here. This time on close here. Yeah, uh, this is the one. The simplified of the model small, uh, small scale micro bit. It is there. Uh, just uh, quickly, I can open this example and uh, I will run. I'll show you how it will work. And uh, just on uh, quickly, I'm going to run this as a simulation uh, before I'm running. There, but if you have any doubt, uh, please. Yeah, I'm running this simulation. Just I want to quickly open the scopes and uh, first I'll see the outputs.
channel uh, which is the like maybe uh, power of the tv solar power, solar power which is the maybe power of the secondary maybe low side battery side or uh, maybe soc and hour so uh, this is a like uh, scopes where i am getting that power so before just i want to go, go by one by one so here is a maybe i have the design uh, solar power, solar uh, power plant so here just i'm open to some more So here I'm using that uh, common that is a sample circuit. I'm using that the excess power it is there. Then I can control. Then I want to measure the voltage and current here. So in that is the solar power panel it is there. Uh, first one is the PVI in the form of current, and the second one is the PV uh, V it is there. That is a common uh, voltage it is there. So this is a solar panel. I'm getting the power. Uh, maybe sometimes I'm getting the excess power and maybe uh, low power. Uh, whenever I get the excess. When I'm getting the excess power, then I can store on the battery. Uh, that uh, variable DC to convert to constant DC, then I can store on the battery. And similarly, uh, wherever it is uh, maybe complete is the shutdown of that my solar uh, plant, then I can send it to the consumer also. Indeed, uh, before that, then I want to send it to the grid. The grid level only I can able to balance this kind of the power. So uh, generally, like is a homes uh, like a consumer needs is AC power. But my power plant is uh, like uh, maybe uh, I'm generating the DC power. So this is a uh, like uh, where this variable DC I'm I'm taking to convert to constant uh, AC. That constant AC I can use that uh, polo monitor transfer and then I can convert to, to step up or step down depends on the maybe my power fluctuation. I can uh, use this kind of the filter. I can remove the unwanted harmonics and after that maybe I can send uh, make, uh, this is the grid level of that maybe here is a high on to six to uh, six point six kb. Uh, uh, KV turnover of that uh, transfer uh, to winding uh, three days of transfer on here. So, like this is a, like one reference of uh, my values. Then, if you want to change uh, according to maybe your application, you can uh, come to here the transfer values or maybe your solar power plant values or maybe transfer uh, transfer values are able to change. So, this is a like uh, grid level. I can take the power input power and I want to control and I'll send it to as per the consumer is required. Maybe that is uh, industrial, uh, industrial or home power application. Maybe a uh, electrical vehicle application. That that up to here I can decide. Hello, uh, I think I hope everybody able to hear. Uh, um. Hey, Ravinder, we lost you for a couple of minutes now. Because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, due, due to the power issue, so like, uh, yeah, I lost that my internet. Yeah, I was connected okay. again. Yeah. Uh, so here, uh, Yeah, here that power I can use the like uh, I can store in the battery. The similar battery we can be where we can use the like in home per application in but uh, similarly we can uh, wherever power it is there like AC power we can convert to a DC and we can store here. So if you want to see the uh, like battery parameter then inside it is there and uh, we can send it to the like uh, consumer. Uh, that is a home for application. So that is a here is a main taker. This is there. So this is all values I was connected to, to my control black. Uh, this is a battery controller. So when I open the battery controller, then I can open the power quality PQ is there uh, in the form of voltage, in the form of the current. Uh, and I can use this uh, integral uh, in, in, integral circuit. I can use this uh, control techniques here. So this is the same uh, battery. How how it, when it is charged and when uh, when it is discharged that I can uh, use in my control. Uh, technology here so like my entire algorithm how that uh, uh, parameters in that phaser uh, uh, power gi it is a uh, graphical user interfaces uh, after that we have the solver uh, uh, like we uh, and before like whenever I'm ta talking about the solver just to come to here modeling and uh, click on the, the model settings so if you know the solver configuration you can select if you don't know the matlab has the one future it is there you can uh, put it the auto mode so it will take uh, what are the by default what are the good solver it is there by default it will take uh, this is a like a, a flexibility is available uh, is in that uh, tool and if you want to like in uh, integrate with uh, like as i said like before uh, my slides uh, like the simulation blocks are so supported for code generation. So when you come to the code generation, uh, click on this code generation, you, you can able to generate the language of the code, maybe C or C plus, 
or maybe that is a hard uh, yeah sorry sorry uh, when yeah you can able to generate the code and if it's a hardware interfaces uh, these are the all all hardware uh, hardware are supported to like in matlab uh, this is a directly tie up and they have the support package system that is a completely free of cost free of cost once you have the license maybe you have the account you can able to download directly this is a all of the hardware are supported and we are available to support that case in our website uh, mathos.com and uh, maybe whenever you have select any kind of the like any kind of the hardware for example html then maybe it is a specific av or 32 bit or 64 bit by default it will take so this is a by default it will take and it, it will support to your custom processor also that is also can be done and uh, like server configuration yeah if you want to like in software set there is there if you want to uh, talking about the hardware set there is a fixed step it is there and you can select that uh, if you know then you can select otherwise you can put it auto then by default it will select so that thing you, uh, you can able to see here and just uh, come back to here yeah uh, like if you want to see the complete uh, model uh, like if i want to see the measurement of the uh, sets analyzer if i want to uh, uh, complete model of the my power line parameters so complete uh, data will get it from here just if you want to see the i want to measurement of the state analyzer of the, my complete model here when you click on this uh, measurement So wherever, like uh, how many uh, measurements I'm using, that voltage measurement, what are the values is there, and what is the angle, uh, maybe what is the peak time. So this all those uh, frequency also, maybe uh, if you set the 50 or 60 or 30 measurement, then it will be able to generate. If you want to source, if I want to state, if I want to nonlinear elements. So complete data itself is available about that my model. And similarly, if I want to find out the FFT analysis, that you can select the FFT fundamental frequency transfer. These parameters also it is available here. Yeah, uh, like here, uh, maybe if you want to uh, increase and if you want to number of cycles, if you want to start time, or maybe if you want to single or maybe a 50 window uh, that you can able to generate here. So here, see, if I want to only power PV, if I want to power secondary, uh, that, that, can, that you can come to here anytime and you can able to generate here. If you want to next uh, next is frequency or same as the max frequency that is also you can it can be done here so this is a uh, like a complete designing of the smart gate and uh, this is the components are available from the uh, simulation library uh, this is what i want to show you today uh, a session uh, sir uh, like uh, from my side it is over sir like if you have any question uh, please unmute yourself and you can ask the question sir uh, dear uh, request to every participant uh, please you have any question uh, please unmute yourself and you can ask Hello, uh, Bonesh, sir. Hello, hi, uh, request to everyone. Uh, like, uh, this is my from my end. If you have any question or uh, anything, please unmute yourself and you can ask that uh, your questions.
एस राशेक्रम सर वाज आस्किंग हाउ सर हाउ टू इन इन कार्पेट ऑफ द फजी लाजी कंट्रोलर विद दिस सेम डायग्राम मे बी यू कैन यूज द मे बी फजी और द टेक्निक दैट इज इन कंट्रोल टेक्निक वेयर वी वेयर वी कैन यूज इन पी आई कंट्रोलर इन द सेम प्लेस यू कैन रिप्लेस ऑफ द फजी कंट्रोलर दैट यू हाउ टू डिफाइन लाइक हाउ इट इज द कंडीशन फजी कंट्रोलर जनरली यू कैन यूज either zero or one if fault condition is zero or maybe true condition is one like that only you can able to design fuzzy controller i will uh, send you the separately uh, the fuzzy con uh, fuzzy controller uh, case study uh, to your email id after that session you can fill the feedback forms and send it to me i will uh, share you man share you graphs uh, uh next to uh, mk explain the battery controller and the simulation diagram battery controller yeah uh, uh this is a battery where i'm using that here uh, so this is a charge and discharge mode i can use the battery controller here so here is a, i'm taking the maybe when is the controller is on uh, then maybe discharge mode and charge mode i can uh, define here so this is a when is a switch on mode uh, maybe uh, the battery is going to on so this is a condition i'm using this is a pv uh, power quality pq this is active reactive power uh, which is a phase type uh, this is a mask handle so i'm going to un, uh, open the mask also here look up to under mask so this is a technique i'm using uh, then when switch is on maybe uh, when is the battery is on and battery is off mode so basically whenever whenever i'll get the excess power uh, from that uh, plant so whenever is a uh, excess power then i can able to store and whenever the maybe uh, complete uh, my plant is zero then i can take it um, i can take it from the battery so this is a way um, using the battery amp here uh, just a bit yeah uh, maybe the charging mode is slow it will start from zero and it will go to zero phase yeah uh, thank you sir uh, yeah that uh, maybe python or the other is you how to uh, maybe uh, coding language has like agree but here directly there is a, there is a simulation uh, model is available to click and access and you can edit this uh, can uh, this is a model that you can edit and you can you can edit and quickly you can uh, change your parameters according to this way Yeah, request to everyone. Uh, if you have any question, yeah, please uh, yourself and you can unmute and you can. Uh...
Okay, thank you very much. I would like to thank all the participants for their uh, attentive session uh, in yesterday and today session. Uh, on behalf of PSN College of Indian Technology, I would like to thank uh, application engineer Mr. Ravindra Reddy from Design Tech, Hyderabad, and Mr. Anandu and Mr. Harris from Design Tech. I would like to thank once again. If you have any queries, you can ask now. I have noted down the contact details of Mr. Ravindra Reddy. You can mail him and he will help you for your further clarifications. Yeah, on each side the solar panel, first of all, we are... Uh... Hello, uh, like uh, yeah. somebody was asking that uh, uh, Nishita MK, uh, like uh, this, uh, how solar panel PV battery connected to AC power grid? Sir, directly we cannot connect, sir. We have to conversion to uh, PV. We are generating the DC power that we have to convert to AC. That AC only we can connect to the AC grid, sir. So directly we, can, we cannot connect to the AC grid. Even though battery also, where we can use that uh, battery stores only DC. And PV cells will generate the variable DC. That variable DC we have to convert to constant DC. The DC only we can store on the battery. So whenever power uh, is completely shut down the solar panel, then they can use the battery. The battery again uh, will convert to uh, variable DC to uh, like uh, fixed DC to convert it to fixed AC. Is it clear, sir, or if anything is there uh, about that? Uh, that we cannot connect directly. There is a, like a conversion part is there in between. As I showed in that uh, diagram also, oh, sorry. Yeah, here, yeah. uh, we have to the interfaces before uh, we want to convert the AC grids, uh, we have to uh, grid inter inverter, it is there. So the inversion part, we can convert to, to variable AC, uh, maybe variable DC or variable AC converted to constant AC, that AC only 